Yes, wonderful. Fire. And activating the drone. And Oh, yes! Woohoo! That was a double kill with Noricums, dude. I, when was, I don't know if I've ever seen that before. I think this may have been the first time I've ever seen that. A few moments later. We have a scorpion, I think, behind this wall right there. Firing. And... Oh, come on! <sighs> What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to this. We have our three times overdrive, four times Noriko Mark II Max, and our intensifier drone damage output, which is almost 300%. If that doesn't scream like fun for team deathmatch, then I don't know what is, guys. Let's go right in there and see if we can annoy the living hell out of some of the enemies, okay? But first, tons of heroes and companions for you. Faction Wars, a huge campaign with many different levels, and of course, dungeons, plenty of them. That, my friends, is Raid Shadow Legends, a game I've recently started playing a bit, and I'm excited. What you see here is my journey to leveling up that low-level group of heroes I had at first, and now there's four of them at level 20, and every time I defeat a boss, I do not only get experience for leveling them up further, I also get new weapons and armor that I can equip to them and uh, make them even stronger in time, with upgrading skills and stuff like this, right? And recently, a huge event has hit the game, the Doom Tower that brought a 120 floors and tons of new secret challenges and big bosses to fight so uh, the content is never ending in the game and uh, if you use my link down below you can not only get uh, the game itself but also you can get this starter package with an awesome hero the bulwark so don't lose time ladies and gentlemen go down in there and maybe if you're quick maybe you can find me in the game right there fire and Oh, that's one third of a hawk down. Dude, that is insane. Okay, let's bring him down to last end. We have a scorpion, I think, behind this wall right there. Firing and... Br oh, come on! Ah. Intensifier drone damages there. Fire, activating drone intensifier and... Oh, yes! Bye-bye, Scorpion! woo He doesn't know what hit him, dude. He does <laughs> Oh, man. This is too good. That is exactly what I wanted. So, firing again. Drips. And there is a hawk right there. Drips. And look at that damage, dude. That was even without the drone... Uh, without the intensifier damage drone. Uh, let's wait for this hawk to land. I think we have 800, 800 meters range, don't we? Okay, where is he gonna go? Let's see. Uh, fire. And activating extra damage and brrrr. Okay, that hasn't worked very well. We can actually kill this guy by activating our inbuilt in weapons. Bam. 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 Okay, and there is a scorpion. I don't know where he came from. Uh, but I know I can hit him. Brrrr. Yep, got him a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Alright, another hawk is landing. Hawk has landed. Firing at the hawk. And here comes. Rips. Oh, yes! I got one guy killed, and I heavily damaged the other hawk that I was firing at. Now, this right there, I think, is another hawk. Wait for it. Wait for it. Fire and activating damage. Rip. Oh, man, that was like nothing because he moved to the side. It is so incredibly hard to make good use of this. It is so incredibly hard to predict uh, this. Seriously. I have to get closer to the enemy so that uh, within 300 meters so that my shots don't have to fly as long to make it all the way over to him. Okay, fire. And... Yep, that worked. That was a nice hit. I'll take that one. That was good. We can't kill him because he's going to activate his thing. All right, he's going to land now. Fire. And... Nice! That is the plan. Let's see if that works. Okay. Um, okay. L landing in. Oh my god! That damage, though. That damage, though. He's leeching us now. That leech just lost all, like two-thirds of his HP, dude. Alright, there's a dude coming. 
This guy is still standing there. Can I hit him? Let's see. Firing and... Nope. But let's let's use this opportunity to lose some uh, HP. That's right. So, wonderful. That's the perfect amount of health that I wanted to have. Is he moving out or... Fire. I think he's locked. That's it for him. Activation. Oh, the damage. That was like... 60% of his robot. There's an enemy right there. He feels safe. Or maybe the hawk. The hawk when he lands. Right? He's gonna feel safe too. Fire. And... Oh, yes! Not a bad hit. He took quite some damage there. So, there's a guy. Right? Firing at him. And... Activation. Whoa! Dude, I think he would have died if the drone hadn't healed him up. If you take a look at this, he had a healing drone. Uh, that healed him up um, as the damage came in. So, fire. And let's see what's that gonna be. And... Oh! <laughs> without overdrive and without the added damage from, um, from, from the drone. That was still like a one-hit kill. Yeah, I need you. I need you to do more damage. More damage. That is very great. Thank you, sir. Let's pick that guy. And... Raining! Oh, almost, almost. Okay, overdrive is now activated. I will be healing back some HP. And I have to make some really good hits somewhere. The question is, where do I hit well? Boom. Fire this guy. Let's try. Rups. Ah, that wasn't too bad. It was also not very good. But again, this is a very difficult thing to, to do. This is a very difficult thing to do. What is that? This guy is stuck there. Okay, fire. That should be it for him. He's done. He's done. That's it. Boo! I called it! I even called it, guys. Oh, uh, man. He was like... Because he was stuck. He couldn't move away fast. I think that's a Natasha. If that's a Natasha, then I should be able to hit it really well. Let's see what it's doing. I have to also keep range in, in mind. Firing and... Oh, yep. Oh, wait, my overdrive is no longer running. I need to take damage from someone. Somebody please damage me a little bit. Is that Spectre still there with his wasp? You there. You there, Natasha man. Or woman, in this case. All right, could somebody... Yeah, you, please, please. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yes, wonderful. Fire. And activating the drone. And... Oh, yes! Woohoo! That was a double kill with Noricums, dude. I, when was, I don't know if I've ever seen that before. I think this may have been the first time I've ever seen that. Seriously, there comes a scorpion. He's not gonna be easy to hit, but maybe I can make it happen. Okay, let's see. Fire. And damage activation. Oh yes, I got him. And I didn't get him bad. I got him quite a bit. But he's gonna be difficult to to hit again from this point on because he's gonna jump on someone. I think it was the guy from the exit clan. This guy isn't standing still, but he might be. Fire. Okay. Raining. Oh, he saw it coming. I think he saw it coming. That's the problem. This guy with his Aochun. Yeah, he's flying now. Okay, here we have the score uh, the the guy. Okay, the question is, is he gonna leave us alone or is he gonna follow us now? No, he teleported back. Okay, that's good. Phew. Again! Oh my god, you're gonna you're gonna keep doing that now, aren't you? Yeah, I got him big time with the with the the effect thing. Alright, that's what he's going to be doing. He's teleporting on someone in front of me. This guy right there. Fire. And raining. <laughs> Nice! I got him down to last stand. Amazing! Now, if he teleports back... No, he didn't. I wonder how much damage we have done after this match. We're not really... We're not really the killer here. But let's see. Yes! I got him! He was gonna try and move away from it, but I got him. I caught him just as he was about to get out of range. The Inquisitor is there. Uh, invader. Fire! He's locked! Oh, man! Yes! Nice hit! Nice hit! 
I could suppress him now, but I'd rather keep my ability right now for the next scorpion that likes to jump on me. This guy. Fire. And... Oh, he activated his Ares shield or whatever it was. That is one very good way to be protected from that, but it's not gonna be long for before you got get the next hit, dude. Fire. And... Nice. If it's a nemesis, then he could do this every single time I fire at him, I think, right? A nemesis, I believe, has a shield every time uh, I would fire at him. Let's see if we can trigger his sh oh, oh, oh. Oh, man, I'm locked. I'm locked. I, I'm still locked. I'm still locked, and I'm still locked. Oh, God, that hurts so much. That hurts so much, and it took two of my weapons away. Fire. And... Got him a little bit, but it wasn't enough for the kill, and two of my weapons are gone. The lockdown ammo was the, was the disaster. And the fact that I had no more ability to protect myself from this... Fire. Brrp. Yeah, okay. I guess that's it. That's it for the first match, ladies and gents. Let's see at the statistics how much damage we have done at the end, okay? All right, there he is. There he is. With only two weapons on the robot now. Fire. Activating the extra damage. Brrp. Oh my goodness, dude. He's almost dead and I only had two weapons. I only had two weapons. The other two are gone. Right, let's try our luck with him, maybe. Nope. This guy, fire, and activation, bam! Nice, right on the face. All right, oh, Bella, the match was almost over. I was just gonna say that. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, 20 seconds left on the clock. All right, let's break that shield real quick. That shouldn't be long. All right, and then go for the Titan. Suppress this guy if possible. And three seconds, two seconds. All right, let's see how much we have done. All right, 2.2 2. 2 million damage if we round it up. We almost scored first. We actually got the highest amount of kills, which is unreal, ladies and gents. Uh, but I'm not gonna complain. That was a fun round. Unfortunately, we lost the two weapons at the big end, but that was okay. Next, let's go into the next All right, one. now that is the perfect map, ladies and gentlemen, for this type of setup. Why? Simple, because people love to hide behind cover, and we can hit them right in the face. Okay. All right, he's gonna try and hide behind the wall, I think. All right, here he comes, and... Drrrps! Oh, yes! Lychee boy! How you like that, dude? <laughs> you could tell he did not know what it was about to happen right there. He had no idea that was possible. All right, he's probably gonna... We need our activation from that uh, thing again. There's a scorpion right there. Probably gonna teleport back any moment now. This guy. Fire, and... Uh, no, he's walking to the side. I still need to take some extra damage. Okay, thank you, Leech. That was good. Okay, okay, okay. Getting ready for it. Getting ready for it. Fire. With activation of damage. Bye-bye! Yep, Spectre, you're not safe there. No one is. That's the good thing about this setup, that you can't be safe from, uh, from fire. Even w behind steel walls. So, what else do we hit? What, who do we attack now? There. This guy, maybe, again. Alright. Fire at him, and... Oh, yes! He took a big one. He took a big one right there. I'm running into my own team, so they can protect me. It's the only thing I can do, because I cannot fight back. I cannot fight back. It's not possible. Fire at this guy in front of us. Yeah, nice hit. So, yeah, it's really bad. Let's fire at this guy over in the distance. And... Oh, yes! That was a good hit. This guy was really far away, and I hit him very well. Has to board his name is. Alright, I think it's uh, safe to say that this right there is an interesting target. Hiding behind some wall, right? Fire. And... 
dropped. Oh my goodness, dude. I hit him again. <laughs> the same guy from before. And I did a tremendous amount of damage. It's a tear robot. And he hides behind walls all the time. Now he goes down because he does no longer want to be attacked. But I almost got him again. I almost killed him, dude. Let's see if he keeps doing that. All right. No, he goes underneath the bridge. That guy? Let's see what he's doing. Okay. Firing at him. And f activation. Boom! Oh! 70% damage in one hit. We're not gonna be the damage dealer here. We're not gonna be the killer here. But we are... We're having fun. That's all that matters, really. Right? Isn't that all that matters? That we're having fun? And the cool thing is that even an Arthur... Uh, would, would be in trouble when we attack him like this. Fire. And... Yeah, and that was like no damage at all because he just has so much resistance and our damage output isn't that great Even if we do uh, Make a good hit So the Arthur is sitting there fire and It feels like that was no hit it feels like there was zero damage. I don't understand how this would be possible though Yeah, I can't get uh I can't get them out of 300 meters range. In, in, yeah, they're too close to me now. I need targets out of my 300 meters range, and I can't. Okay. Can I can I uppercut him? Hold on. Maybe I can uppercut him. No, I can't. He just flies away and lags in front of before he does. And it was 3 million damage, ladies and gentlemen. I think it could have gone worse. Um, yeah. So, the trolling setup. Let's speak a few words about it. Wait, let's speak a little bit about this weapon setup in particular, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say, so post your comments, please. But here's my opinion. And Pixonic, I have four points for you. Feedback, criticism, and improvements that this weapon really needs in today's today's gameplay okay like let's let's not forget everybody that this is one of the oldest weapon in the game a lot of new stuff entered the game has become stronger and stronger and this this thing is so old it's literally as outdated as it gets and it shows that at on every possible corner all right i have four points here that need to be changed in order to see this setup somewhere in the game uh, and make it a little bit more fun okay first thing is minimum range it's outrageous that a scorpion can literally teleport behind you, but you cannot fire at anything within 300 meters range. That is so outdated. It's outrageous that this is still a thing. All right, so the first thing, and I wouldn't do this like in five weeks or 10 weeks, I would implement that tomorrow. Why not? This weapon is certainly not going to become overpowered. We all know that. Look what's next to it. Hello. Yeah, that's not gonna be overpowered. So, no. Make that minimum range arc. Just make it go away. Just freaking hit yourself if you want to, right? Make it hit fire straight up in the air and straight back down. Why not? Because people can jump on you, like literally, they can land next to you and stealth or whatever. There's no reason for this minimum range arc to exist for such a weak weapon anymore. First change. Second change. 15 seconds reload. 15! You never hit with that weapon anyways. Why do you have to wait 15 seconds to hit, to not hit again, right? So make that nine or 10 seconds to compensate for all those missing shots that you are going to have no matter what, all right? So next thing, nine to 10 seconds reload, those two things, make them tomorrow, immediately. The game will still, this, this weapon will never become overpowered. There's no way. But maybe you see it from time to time by someone who's just playing for a little bit of fun. Then, next thing, projectile speed. Dude, it's... Everything out of three or four hundred meters is almost impossible to hit, unless it's a behemoth and it stands still stationary. So, make this projectile speed faster. Make them fire like like mortars. Instead of rockets, just like, really just mortars. Pop, pop, very quickly. And uh, at, at more range, too. So that at five, six hundred meters... Remember, you have up to one thousand one hundred meters. How long does it take for those things to arrive at that range? Ten seconds? I mean, seriously, you're never gonna hit a score a hit at that range unless the projectile speed is faster. So why does this weapon even have this range if it's just unrealistic to even use it that way? Alright, so projectile speed, bump it up. And targeting backwards and forward, here's the big thing. You can manually lead the target for targets that are moving 
to the left or to the right in the distance, right? You can aim, pre-aim, lead the target, fire, time the shots well, and when he arrives, raps, he gets hit. But you cannot do that when somebody walks towards you or away from you. In this case, the game should do the same thing that the Nemesis rockets did. Remember the Nemesis rockets? They automatically pre-aimed and leaded the target so that they will hit where the enemy is going to be at the time. Uh, if he keeps moving with the same speed, right? So, use that same mechanic when it comes to forwards and backwards. Because we know Pixonic, I know, you know, the mechanic of the game just won't allow us to lead the target in a, like in a, in a position towards or away from you. It's just not possible. But what's possible is that the game will do that for you in the same mechanic, in the same way that the Nemesis did it with the rockets, that it pre-aims and leads the targets correctly. Granted, they keep the same movement speed and the same direction, and then they hit automatically um, if they move towards you or away from you and, and don't change their movement direction, okay? That would be very useful. And uh, leading target left and right, uh, we, we still need to do ourselves. So those four points, all right, summarizing. Minimum range, reload time, projectile speed, and the forward-backwards uh, auto-aim. That Those four points, if you did that, you could even bump up the damage a little bit, but you don't have to because with a shorter reload, at least you would sometimes hit something, you know? Seriously, this isn't an overpowered weapon. It's a light weapon on top of that, right? So, um, yeah, do that. And you'll sometimes actually end up seeing a Noricon player, maybe, if you're really lucky. It's like a unicorn turns inside out, but it's still much more likely than it is today. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Until next time, money signing off. Bye-bye. Oh, and by the way, thanks for Raid Shadow Legends to sponsor this video. Bye.